Welcome back everybody. We're gonna do a new let's play of Timberborn. The video did really well, um, my last one. And we, it was requested that I play some more. And we were even given a name suggestion. Which is huge for me. Uh, my channel doesn't normally get this much interaction in one go. So, uh, hell yeah. Alright, so we're gonna run through the tutorial really fast. Um, we kinda know what we're doing. We'll put, uh, what do you do this? Put one there, one there, and we'll chuck another one, um, over there. Right. Bring the road in. I could have probably turned the tutorial off, but... It's been a long day and I might forget something, so... Uh, to ensure that doesn't happen, let's do this. Alright, then we'll go cut trees, start here, go this way. Come over here, grab these. Oh, wrong level. Cancel that out, and we'll clear that out too, because we'll, we'll do this separately later. Um, yeah. Alright, let's speed her up. Uh, done that, done that, done that, done that. Build the water pump. How lovely, I love this. Right. Uh, I can even tell. I probably want to put the power wheel here. So, if we stuck it... Yeah, there. Yep, that'll work. One, two, three... Yeah, no, nah, that'll work. That'll work. I'll just adjust the power wheel soon. Okay. Yeah, build the water pump. Then we're going to want to gather a flag, I think. I think we can get away with just one of them at the moment. Then it's going to want us to build a farmhouse. And we need to get rid of this. So we can fill this with water. Don't put a water pump in here. It's a waste of time. You'll pump all this out too quick and you'll lose all the irrigation it gives you. Um, it's best to put them over here. Uh, I mean, you know, in my opinion, anyway. Um, also, yeah, um, if you go to your options, you can turn the, the camera snap off, which is, um, why I'm able to go like this, and it not revert back to the default perspective. Which, you know, it's bloody handy. Right, um, uh, also, yes, um, uh, district, um, reach doesn't apply to, um, uh, gatherer type flag so the gatherer flag the wood flag and even the farm it doesn't apply to the farm either um, it does apply to things like the forester the, I th well maybe it doesn't but we will find out won't we alright we want one two three spare spaces bring this out to uh, here go like this fill in this one this one this one and drag this all the way down to there nope there Cool. That's more than we need. Alright, now, log pile. Do -do 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 -do. Storage. Uh, small water tanks. These are going to be bloody important. We should probably put them in first. Damn. Look at that. We're out of water. Everyone is dying. Alright, so down here you've got assign priority. This lets you click and drag. Um, actually, I want one of them full first. They will go to the pump because it does have some of its own storage. It's pathetic, so don't rely on it at all. Um, I can't remember what comes next: lodges or power wheel. Pretty sure it's lodges, right? Uh, leave one space for road. One, two, three. One, two, three. Put that road in. And in case I'm wrong. Because we want those done, then this. Because we want to start stockpiling water. Um, I'm not sure what day the drought kicks in. And I've never seen a drought last longer than um, seven days. So just make sure you've got seven days worth of water. And for 100 beavers, that's about 2,000, maybe 1,500 units. For what we've got at the moment, this will do. Um, it won't for long, and we're going to want this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just love this. It's beavers, man. Yeah, lodges, and then... It's power wheel, then science, right? Or is it science, then power wheel? Who cares? Let's get a head start on this, because it's cheap anyway. Um, we're going to load this whole thing up here with, with, with these guys. We'll just pack them all in. And we'll get science out the wazoo. It's going to be wicked. Nice and easy. So... 
what you can do is you can kind of cheese it. So the game wants you to have a overall well-being, mm, an average well-being of 15. We have zero because none of their needs are being met. You can cheese the hell out of it by staying nice and small, building five of these, and, um, you know, nice and small, nice small farm, a few water tanks, and just wait until you unlock more science, and then just go and unlock all of these, and all of these, and plant them just around your own people. And that's practically it. Uh, you'll eventually hit that 15 easy, and because you've only got like, you'll only have like 20 or 30 beavers, it's not really a big thing. When you've got a city center here, another center here, um, another one out here, yeah, it's, it's going to be, be a little complicated. But I guess the first question we need to ask ourselves is, do we extend out towards this boy, this bad boy, or do we extend out to this one first? Either way, we will need a new district hub. Yeah, look at that, we're at four already. We'll need a new one of these. Because we're not going to be able to reach it from where we are. Alright, give me four more. Um, we don't actually have enough beavers. <laughs> actually not having enough beavers. Right, uh, and you. I actually want you to store nothing but food. Berries and carrots. Yeah, we won't put anything else in here for a little while. Alright, build a water wheel. There we go. So it was science first. Perfect. Okay, so these are three wide, but you need to leave um, like a tile on each side of it, front and back, so there's actually some water flow. So it might be tempting to put it here. Don't. It would be better to put it here, but we do not currently have access to platforms, which means we won't be able to build uh, anything to connect to it. So we need that little uh, blue cog to face the land. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't be a Muppet and do what I do half the time, which is build it incorrectly. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to build a path probably across here so we can put in more of them and get more power out of them. First things first, let's chuck in, because we have no access to these yet. Um, this, I mean, these will become redundant soon because we'll put a whole bunch of wind farms up here. Um, what I typically do is I put the wind farms up here and I, I build a big scaffold platform so it's about that height. And I put a battery on it. <laughs> yep, there are batteries. Gravity batteries. Which, if you saw my Sunday Showcase video, you may have actually seen. Because um, I had that built at the time. We actually had pretty much spread all the way out down here, hadn't we? That game is still going. I'm still enjoying that. It's quite fun. Right, next is going to be a forester, right? No, lumber mill. Lumber mill. Right. Because this is a power building. So we will put it... Oh, look at that. It slots right in, mate. Look at that. Almost like it was made for it. Because your beavers can't walk past this. They have to go under it or over it. Which is where... Um, which is where all of these... This thing here comes in handy. Because it lifts it up a level. So you can eventually get the platform. Put it next to it. Put it up. Put one of these on top of the platform. And you can move your power along. Which is fantastic. Oh yeah, see we're already at number four there. Build it, power it, awesome. Um, wonder what it's gonna have us do next. Actually, that might be the end of the tutorial. <laughs> Not bad if we can get it done in less than ten minutes. Right, because we're gonna want that forester as soon as possible. That costs sixty. With thirty off. Yep, there we go. That's the next thing. Right, let's um. Now let's get the forester first, then we'll put in another one of these. And I think what we might do to start off with is reforest all of this in here with the pine trees. And we might forest a nice big chunk in here as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, that might be good. Um, Alright, so how much wood do you cost, Mr. Forester? Ten and seven planks. Right, so let's get another sciencey labby thing in here. Get that science cranking. Now, when it goes blue, see that, see how it's blue? Like the the buildings that I'm attaching it to, they highlight. That means they can share power between each other. Um, they all have this sort of thing here. It's like a power connection point. 
it just appears when you connect onto it or it's a window i don't know looks like a connection point for one of these doesn't it um but it's, it's bloody cool where's the blade on that i don't really see a blade on it but yeah and that turns uh logs into one log into one plank yeah, it still needs a guy to run it though, which is, you know, kind of cool. Oh, we've got the 68. No, it's so close. Come on, man. So what we'll do with this guy is we'll probably put him here, maybe. Here would be a good spot, but, um, actually here's probably better. Nah, we want to get range out, as, uh, out, out to the back as much as possible. Okay, um three sixes or 18 so we, we can have uh, quite a few more beavers it does actually tell you how many free beds you've got uh, how many vacancies there are because uh, we don't have in we need at least one more of these guys to grow up come on one more point let's go yeah right this thing has a lovely range on it so that would be almost ideal what about here that'd be pretty nice too what about here really see that like hmm yep let's do that let's definitely do that chuck in some pine trees um i typically like to leave room over here for roads so let's go like this actually stuff it we'll worry about all of that later probably in another episode but uh, we'll do this we'll do this let's make sure we're all in range here indeed all right. Uh, now, as you can see, nine days, one wood. That's kind of rubbish. Uh, this takes 12 days for two wood. This, however, is 30 days for eight wood. Um, <laughs> cool, done that. Good luck. Tutorial over. So, the pine would be nice, but we're going to need, quite soon, um, one of these. So, we might as well preempt it, put that in also going to eventually need these kind of soonish too hence why you want to put more than one of these guys down um right uh how much is our large water tank we need to head for that next i think 120 all right that shouldn't take too long um we need the wood to um to increase a hell of a lot more there's nobody in here yet we need those uh we need those youngins to grow up uh right hmm Let, let's put in more housing. One, two, three. Right, we'll put another row in there. That's fine. And I think what we might want to do... Actually... Let's plant... How much range we got here? Let's plant some blueberries, I guess, in here. Um, right. It would be nice if we could have that stay when I click this button. <laughs> but it's not going to. Uh, how far out was it? That far? You. Yeah, he won't plant the ones at the back. Okay. Uh, we need the road to go along there, so we'll go like this. We'll go like this. That tree's not being told to cut down, is it? Nope. Let's cut you. Okay. We can put in another forester, and we will. We're going to probably stick him in around here somewhere. So we can blueberry tree this area up as well. Um, cause yeah, this is just going to get in the way of our industry. And what I like to do is I like to use my outside colonies as feeders for the, the main colony in the center here. We're very limited on space. This, however, we're going to demolish this entire mountain with dynamite. Cause yeah, you can do that. We're going to put in, um, probably one, one, one water trench, one canal straight through the middle, which will irrigate 15 tiles on either side. And we'll turn the whole inner area into like farmland for wheat and we'll use the outer zones for um the housing the the storage and and all that kind of stuff and then i wonder i wonder let's have a look let's plan ahead of ourselves so you turn one wheat into one flour then you turn one flour and one put into five bread okay so it's better for them to ship the wheat back here and us do something with it or Hmm. Maybe we get them to turn the f make the make it into flour and ship it back. Ooh, things to do, things to do, lots to think about. Right. Uh, Ten free beds, lovely. Okay, let's get some more uh, carrots down. 
I don't actually know how many, um, how many carrots these guys can actually handle. Hmm. Find out though. And I think what we're going to want to do is just chuck this guy in now. Um, I'm using this, the, 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 the zone to tell me how, where to put it exactly. Um, I think if we were to stick it like that, that might be alright. Um, there are some stairs here. You can demolish those. But um, we're also going to put some probably in up here somewhere. Although we won't need to at the moment. Alright, let's leave it like that. Okay. Oh, good. And he'll also start planting this out. So we might as well um, fill this in with blueberries too. Alright, water's full. We're almost at the level where we can get another water tank. Um, the bigger water tank. We do have quite a bit of log. Let's get another inventor. And then later on you can get things like an observatory. Um, which, <laughs> that really helps. That gives you a ton of science. Look at that, 10 at once instead of 1. Oh, here comes the first drought. Uh, right, quick pause. Let's get them to build um, another three of these. We'll prioritize them to the full. We're also going to want another water pump, so we'll chuck one of them in as well. This is a lot of building to do with the very limited materials we have. Alright. Um, let's get the blueberry bush in. Oh, we haven't got the dam in. Shite. Right, uh, let's, let's try and do that. Not there, you dummy. <laughs> yeah, be careful of that. You can sometimes put things on a cliff. We'll prioritize the hell out of that too. Oh, they've already almost done them. Good. But we're, we're out of wood. All right, we're pausing you. We are also going to run this road up here. Like so. Grab another gatherer flag for the wood. And put that, what, like up here somewhere? And we're going to grab all this. Yep. We'll cut down all these trees. Um, I don't know if it counts these guys as trees. Um, I say that because it, it, it's in the planting thing. It's in here. Yeah, under the, the tree thing. So, uh... Uh, come on, come on, come on. We need just a little bit more wood. What do we need? <laughs> 18 more logs. Oh, right. You can actually reach those first few trees. That's that's brilliant. Alright, good. Cool, cool. We did have one unemployed, but he just went and got a job. Nice. Okay, we need this dam up so that none of this food goes to waste. Um, how's our water looking? Minimal at best. Okay. There is the number up here, thankfully. Come on, come on. One more log. Oh, this is going to be close. Yes. Alright, good. Now this will fill up. Well, I won't mean it won't, but... It won't empty, which is <laughs> what we really want. Alright. We're going to chuck in more blueberries all along here. And stuff it. We'll do this. Bonk. And we're going to put a... Gather a flag right there. Awesome. Whew. Right. Uh, how many free beds do we have? Nine. Okay, cool. So we can have a lot more people. Ah, sorry. Beavers. We can have a lot more beavers. <laughs> oh, this stuff is cool, guys. Alright, one day from the drought. What is that? Day 16? And hopefully it won't last too long. Alright, water pump is last. Good, good, good. Oh, we can get the new water tank. Which we'll take advantage of after this drought. Because it requires um, gears, which we can't actually technically get yet. Um, should have thought of that, but I didn't. It's here. I should have bought this first. And that turns planks into gears. Um, 
So what we're going to do first, is we're going to tell our lovely beavers to come and get rid of all of this. Um, maybe just that deep? Get rid of that lot first in case they decide to regrow on us? I think that'll be good. Okay. Two vacancies. Alright, that's fine. I'm guessing one of them is you. No. One of them is definitely you. So who doesn't have a... Oh, the, the, it'll be the gatherer flag, right? Yep. Now you can prioritize those, but there really isn't much for him to gather, see? It's almost all empty. Really, we want to get to this stuff up here. Where's my flag? There we go. Drought's kicked in. Water's all gone. Okay. We didn't get much of it. But we've only got 19 beavers, so... 90-odd lots of water should last 2.6 days. Oh, I just had to hydrate there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, I'm having some of my lovely coffee brand coffee. Haha, <laughs> yeah. There'll be a link for that in the description if you, you know, like to support the little guy. There's quite a few links down there, but don't worry, it's the one at the top. Um, it's sustainable coffee, tastes great, many, many, many flavors, great reviews. Also, a company's run by another YouTuber, so why the hell not, right? Alright. <laughs> oh, I was just drinking some, so I figured I'd just do my own little affiliate link plug there. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by them, but they have the affiliate program, which anyone can join. So, you know, take advantage while you can. They all look roughly about even, don't they? Alright. Still have too many planks, but we've got some more lumber. Good. More logs. How lovely. Alright, need one more person to grab a job. Yeah, see, these won't grow. Because there's no water out here. Really, we should have... Yeah, let's just do it. Let's not talk about it. And let's just do it. We'll chuck in... Um, I'd really love some maples, but it's 30 days for them. And the next drought cycle might be here by that point. So let's extend that out. Go like this. Go like this. No, not you. I decided I don't want you there. And we'll see what happens. Just so we got a little bit of wood. We don't need all that much. Um, we've got a little stockpile. It's the food and the water that are going to be our biggest issues. Look at that. Yeah? This wasn't enough. We probably might need... Oh no, we'll see. We'll see. We might need another water pump. Ah. That's the problem. It's that that has nobody working in it. Really? Did that work? It did. Okay, <laughs> I mean, it's pointless right now. Because they can't get any water out of there. But if we had left the pump in here, this would have dried up by now. God, this, this get, like, graf <sighs> when I was a kid, I would have loved a game like this. Don't get me wrong, I grew up on the old SimCity 2000, which, believe it or not, was a city management simulator. Um... Like, it was made for city planners and stuff. It wasn't made as a video game. Um, it was a training tool, I believe, um, that became a video game and spawned many things and then was killed by EA like most things are. <laughs> Good old electronic arts destroying everything we love. All oh, right. We're out of water, but that doesn't matter. The drought has just ended. So here it comes. Lovely. Now, ideally... We're going to want to wall this off with a dam. Or, better yet... Yeah, it doesn't really matter if we run out of power. We can always use the, the guy that builds the lumber to do something else. We want to find the shortest point between this, these. And I think it doesn't really matter. They've made this relatively even the whole way along. Like They just went with one size brush through here. There we go. Here comes the water. There goes the uh, irrigation. Hell yeah. Whew, thankfully I built up there. Right. Um, Alright, so tomorrow they'll pump the water into the into the, the lovely jug things. I think I needed something like nine of these. Oh wow, the well-being's minus, 
Minus five? <laughs> it's because they, they've got no water. That'll change now, though. I'm wondering if we should get another water pump. I am contemplating it for too long. That means that I should put it in there. Right. Is that old saying? Hesitation gets you killed, so best not to. All right. We don't have enough to dam that off. Hmm. Building lacks workers. Yes, well, I assume it would. We'd, we'd need more. <laughs> we are producing tons of food, though, so let's do this. Let's put in three more. And then we're going to need to look at um, extending the height of these. Uh, which means we're going to need a bit of space for a staircase. Which we could start over here, I suppose. Sorry, it's just... Oh, got, got to stay hydrated, man. Got to stay hydrated. <laughs> Speaking of which... Got to make sure our boys here stay hydrated. So, you'll notice that the water level is not at the level of the dam. So no more water is going to go in here. That's just to stop the water that's in there from <laughs> flowing out. Because um, despite the fact that uh, this is flat, it'll still flow out, right? Because, um, you know, water always tries to find its level. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, that water's raising hard. But these only hold 30 units. So when we started that, that drought, we had about, what, 96, 95 water or something? So that's three of these full. Technically, if all, all, all of these are full, we should have about 180 water. Which should take us in and through the next drought. However, 74 wood. Alright, let's do this. Can we open you yet? Yes, we can. Let's chuck you in. Right next to this bad boy. And he'll chew up some of our planks. And make some of the, um, some gears so we can get in that, that nice big water tower. Which holds 300 units. So it's like having 10 of these guys. Um, and that'll be plenty for a little while. We'll just put, start stacking them in here, I think. Uh, for the time being. Um, I've never really used the water food. I, I, I am, pr um, experimenting with it in my own private game. Um, to see if it's any good, but it seems like if you go through the numbers here, um, you've got this, this stuff right here, right? So 12 days to make three of it. And the only thing I think you can do with it is grill it. And one of those makes three of those. So you're looking at, keep clicking on the wrong bloody thing. So you're looking at 12 days for nine meals, which is not bad at all. I prefer to go the wheat route where it's 10 days for three instead of 12. However, you need more things. So you need to have the grist mill, and then you need the bakery. Um, and you can make many different types of stuff, like, uh, what is that, maple and wheat. You can make maple bread, but you don't make as much. Um, and seeing as this is going to become like our literal bread basket, uh, we're going to use that to feed everything else, and I'll create more expansions. Um, the map's not overly large, but I think um, our biggest, uh, like, now, the biggest engineering project we're going to do is dam up most of this, I think. We're going to make a huge, huge reservoir of water. Because um, we're going to have a massive population. <laughs> what did you need? Logs and planks. Okay. So we need to turn this back on. Let's turn you back on, buddy. Uh, seeing as logs won't be a problem, at least not for a little while, food will not be an issue either. Now, I think they eat the... Um, the carrots before they eat the berries which is why you never really you'll notice the berry number will increase it like quite a lot because they just don't eat them as as often i believe um <laughs> don't quote me on it i'm not 100 percent sure um it it's just that they get they get more out of it see they get nutrition carrots so i think they prefer to go for that first um so you don't want to overextend too much on the berries and you want to swap them out for potatoes you could because um, you can grill the potatoes. The one potato on the grill equals four grilled potatoes. So that's actually a, uh, another good way to go early game. And we probably will do that. Because um, we've got plenty of room for farming. But what do you want to keep an eye on? If you get if you get two of these, 
have one of them set to prioritize harvesting and the other one set to prioritize planting um, that way because see all of this is ready to be cut down however we don't actually have the storage for it because it's it's full of berries <laughs> so it's uh, 50 of them being stored in here and then it's going to eventually be oh hello what do we got down here oh, our first no, 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 injured no, no. beaver right 400 science let's go and unlock the medical bed now this works better <clears throat> when you have um what do you call that stuff medicine <laughs> these work better when you've got medicine uh we don't have medicine so they're just gonna have to deal with it <clears throat> as it is yeah they don't cost all that much but you know five logs one plank each and we don't have any planks that could be a problem so let's actually prioritize you and secondary prioritize those guys oh my goodness look at the time all right guys i hope you've enjoyed that um i'm going to leave this one here this is going to take uh the place of um of saints row on tuesdays thursdays and saturdays um so come back on those days and you'll see it or you know just come back to the channel anytime i'm sure there's something you'll enjoy uh leave me a comment down below what you'd like to see or how far you'd like us to go or in which direction you think we should be going in and um i'll see you in the next one